morning nights. Today is October 12th and it's a night silver day. Today's lunch is chicken smackers and goldfish crackers with broccoli and your choice of fruit. As we end the National Hispanic Heritage Month, the last fact is that 25% of children in the United States are Hispanic. We have several birthdays over the break. We'd like to wish a happy birthday to Andrew Hensley, Eli Huckaba, and Sarah Conum. We hope you guys had a great birthday over fall break. Here is Mr. Olson with today's weather. All right, you guys, it's AI Mr. Olson with uh, today's weather report today since human Mr. Olson is feeling under the weather today. All right, so when you woke up this morning, it was a brisk 55 degrees. We're talking blanket fort and hot cocoa kind of weather, but don't get too comfy because it's going to get up to a toasty 75 degrees today. That's right. The sun's coming out to play. Not too hot, not too cold. It's like Goldilocks found the perfect temperature. Thanks, Mr. Olson. The last poll we had asked, what are you most excited for this fall? And 48% of you said you are most excited to wear cozy sweaters or cozy clothing. Now please scan the QR code for today's poll. Junior high students, check your emails now to vote. Students, the first sectional volleyball game is this Saturday at 11 a.m. at Bethesda. We love to fill their gym with fans. Make sure to come out and sport our lady nights. Students, if you would like to propose a quarter two club, please get a club proposal form from Mrs. Armstrong or at the front office. Mark your calendars. Friday, October 27th is our fifth annual pumpkin carving contest. Make a plan now with your mentor groups. Also, you are allowed to bring and use any props, extra supplies, except stencils. Student Council will provide the gutted pumpkins and carving tool and a Sharpie for each group. We, we look forward to seeing your unique creations. Get ready for a wild adventure. Traders Point Christian Schools is headed to the zoo. Bring your family and join us Friday, October 27th at 4 p.m. at the Indianapolis Zoo. Also, our student council has secured a fantastic group discount, so your tickets will be even more affordable when purchased through the school. Start planning your costumes now. We can't wait to see you there. Now please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance to the American and Christian flag. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I pledge allegiance to the Christian flag and to the Savior for whose kingdom it stands, one Savior, crucified, risen, and coming again, with life and liberty to all who believe. You may be seated for today's devotional and prayer. We often talk about the legacy that some people leave behind. There are some people who have left a legacy of great success in life. Many, many others have left a legacy of attempts that ended in failure. Still, others are remembered for their skills or intellect. No doubt we can, think, we can all think of those who we have come across that have left a lasting impression on our lives. I can recall countless examples, both on good and bad. Maybe they were great in the eyes of those of this world and others who were no doubt great examples in the eyes of God by how they lived a life of faith. Samson left an interesting legacy behind. While he was known for his great strength, he also left behind a story of weakness. But there's one thing that we can all see in the story of Samson that we can all learn from. Just because Samson messed up, it didn't mean that God didn't love him and couldn't use him. In fact, Samson cried out to God for strength and remembrance so that he could overcome his enemies. So while, so while his enemies were celebrating victory, Samson was still standing and trusting God. All of Samson's life came crashing around him. He lost his strength, he lost his sight, and in the end, he lost his life. But Samson did not lose his God. God never left him and never gave up on him. When the walls came crashing down around Samson, he was standing with God. If the walls of your life were to come crashing down today, would you be found standing with God? Will you be found standing amidst your enemies and all the evil of this world trusting in God? Faith is not something that God is looking for in only the good times. He is looking for faith even when the walls come crashing in. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for today. Help us to learn and grow not only in what we learn in school, but in knowledge and faith today. 
Please keep us safe today and help us to glorify you in everything we say and do. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks, Asher. Thanks for joining us today, Knights. That's all we have for today. And, and that's, that's the, the point. point.